better known as the Muffler Man. He gets his local nickname because he stands in front of Wilson's House of Carpet. He is 25 feet tall, and the company that made these fiberglass statues only made 40 and destroyed the mold, and every Muffler Man is now worth a minimum of 35 large, or 35 boxes of ZD. We're going to pause in front of Mr. Bill. He's on our right-hand side, and you are in luck. His wife is visiting today. They're having problems, but they're trying to work it out. He is very upset because she is a topless dancer. What you got is a clown. Now, if you look out the front of the bus, the road dead ahead of us was used in those uh, episodes about the asbestos removal. And then ahead on the left there, there's a ramp going up. That's our Pulaski Skyway. And that ramp is what you see at the end of every episode as the car's traveling up the ramp and on screen it reads Chase Films. Tony claims he's a waste management consultant. Everyone in the mob says that. But Tony does consult with the waste management company. What was it called? Marone Sanitation. We saw a lot of it in the pilot the first two seasons. Back in the pilot, Artie returns the cruise ticket to Tony in front of Marone. Then it came back in season six when the owner had died and the son wanted to sell off the business. Remember Paulie beating up the son on the dock? We'll see that later on. So get your cameras ready to you right now. Coming up is Barone Sanitation. John's going to pause us, look up this driveway. The larger corn yellow building is where they have filmed Barone Sanitation. It's a recycling company. Up to your right.
for the view, it was called the Searchlight Diner, and the sequel for Pussy was pretending to be his FBI agent. And our next location, do you remember the one about the Columbus Day Parade where the Native Americans were protesting at the Statue of Columbus? Well, they don't, they won't, well, we won't see those in the clip, but you'll recognize the statue. There it is in the stone to our right. There's Christopher. Many David Chase jokes. Do you remember the one about the... Get your cameras ready to your right. We are going to pause right in front of Big Pussy's Auto Body Shop. We are back in Harrison. It's called the Cleveland Auto Body. It is on Cleveland Avenue here in Harrison. They film completely inside and out here. We'll watch the scene in the parking lot later. We'll see the homes next to it. Remember Philly and Tardo in the seat that wasn't right? Then if you look over to our left, ahead of us, that hotel there, that's new. It used to be an empty lot, and that's how we're going to see it in the clip. Angel Lapari and Big Pussy had a meeting on what was then an empty lot. When we watched that clip, watch from Movie Magic how they disguise an entire body shop. They didn't want you to know they filmed right across the street. So off to your left, there's a park bench right in front of the building. The light beige brick, the dark brown door, number 45. That is Richie's private club. Richie chases Matt out of that door with a baseball bat, chases him up to the corner, down the hill to the left until Bevilacqua gets away. Now look to your right at the entrance of this park. It's unique. And Santani would not let them film there, so they needed to find a new park store. What they found was an old, empty building. They tracked down the owner, created a lease, and they made it a pork store. Everything. Now we're looking across to that. Remember Father Phil. Has anybody noticed two different actors have played him? We found a little bit of the church. We first saw him. Carmella brought Father Phil a pan of her baked zini. the stolen truck full of frozen turkeys. Now here's how we go in